Hi, I'm Amy. I'm a librarian at the Red Hook Public Library. I want to talk to you about this book, Malamander by Thomas Taylor. That's the ebook cover. If you've seen the physical book or the audiobook cover, it's basically just a giant yellow eyeball. If somebody were to ask me for a recipe for the book Malamander, I would tell them you need one part thrilling adventure from Rick Rorden novel. You need one part dry British humor and one part magical fantasy. Both of those could come from a Harry Potter book. And then you need to go out and find a giant sea monster. Because those are all the elements that come together in this book. Malamander takes place in a small British town on the coast called Erie on Sea. The main character is a fellow named Herbert Lemon. Herbie describes himself as 12-ish because he doesn't know his exact age. But even though he's a kid, Herbie has a job. Herbie is the lost and founder at the Grand Nautilus Hotel in Erie on Sea. He lives and works in this hotel. His job is to reconnect lost things with their owners. The other main character in this book, Violet Parma, comes into Herbie's life very unexpectedly and suddenly. Violet has come to the hotel specifically for Herbie because she wants him to reconnect her with what she's lost. But what she's lost is her parents. When Violet was a baby, also about 12 years ago, her parents came to the hotel uh, with her. And one night they disappeared from the beach leaving behind only baby Violet and their shoes. So Violet has come back to the hotel and has sought out Herbie because she wants at least some information, if not to actually find them. The thing is, Herbie's typical case involves a lost suitcase or a hat, not people. At the same time, Herbie knows that his town, Erie on Sea, has a lot of secrets. But he doesn't know how much is safe to share with Violet, because his boss, old Mr. Mollusk, is always watching him closely and with a lot of suspicion. And then, as Herbie and Vi start to investigate, mysterious strangers, like Boat Hook Man, start to pursue them. Mm, probably not because they want to make friends. Herbie and Vi don't know if they can trust other people in the town, like Sebastian Eels, a writer who says that he has the same goals they do. And they don't know whether or not to believe the old legend of the Malamander, a half human, half sea creature. Is that possibly true? There are a lot of secrets in Erie on Sea. And some of them will change Herbie and Vi's lives in ways they can't even imagine. But for now, what they want to know is just what happened to Violet's parents. Well, if you want to find that out, you're going to have to read the book. Or you could listen. I listened to the audiobook and I thought it was great. The narrator does a lot of cool voices and accents. But you're going to have to read the book for the plot but also for these wildly preposterous characters, like Lady Kraken. She's the reclusive owner of the hotel who is maybe also possibly recruiting Herbie to be a spy. Or the cat that can talk and is clearly withholding information that might be important. And then my favorite, the Mermonkey. He lives in the bookstore in town and gives out prescriptions for books that he knows people need. You can find this book, for now, in its digital versions. The ebook is on Sora, and the digital audiobook is on Scribed. Hopefully pretty soon, uh, you'll also be able to get the physical book uh, and the audio on CDs from the public library. But I hope you like this book, and if you do, you should also know that it is the first in a trilogy, and the second book, is coming out this summer.